My name is Marie Alarcon and um, I'm a multimedia artist. I work primarily in, in video, but I also make sculptural works. And um, this is my show, Relocations, at the Roswell Museum. I've been thinking about it as sort of a set, sort of a cinematic space with objects from a potential future or a potential present that is based on a nation that doesn't exist. Um, so these are sort of artifacts, creating a mythology um, for this non-nation. From the chair, which is based on an actual peacock chair that was created in the Philippines in a, in a prison um, during the American occupation, actually, of the Philippines. Um, and its relation to Black American culture and pop culture at large as a very popular chair over the, over the decades. And thinking about the flags that I'm making as both symbols of war and of peace for this non-nation, this black flag and this white flag, having some words embedded into it, but that aren't so clear as to be sort of propagandic. To the banners that I made, which um, feel like sort of religious relics in this way. And so the symbology of the hands, thinking about Catholicism and Catholicism's influence on all of the sort of cultural places that I come from. I like the idea that the things that I make have reference to the sort of crafts of the islands and the idea of weaving textiles together, these materials, these like post-industrial or post-consumer materials. Um, they are part of a larger culture of industry and refuse. But I am interested in the beauty of the mundane material. The unwelcome mat that I created, um, I was thinking about the border, the Haitian migration that's happening at the U.S.-Mexico border. Um, and so thinking about um, what Biden had said to the people of Haiti, which was don't come, um, and which was translated into the Haitian Creole. In my piece, C Primordial, um, I'm using my sequence of DNA, um, or a portion of it, and that's scrolling on the sort of hologram that I have set up. You know, DNA is still in its infancy in terms of what it all means. It doesn't claim to be sequencing your race, it's sequencing your sort of geographical history. I used the DNA sequence and translated it into um, Western musical scale in order to make an audio composition. Um, and thinking about creating an avatar of my daughter as a way of seeing into the future um, was exciting to me. She's really excited about it and be sort of exciting for her to be able to have some control over in terms of what she's wearing or what her future self would be like. <laughs> 